Machiavelli is not an obvious choice to help women in the workplace. He certainly wasn't like a champion of gender equality, very, very far from it. Um, but the way that Machiavelli approaches power and issues of not having power and gaining power and keeping power are, I think, very informative and very, very useful for women in the workplace. What Machiavelli does that I find so useful and the thing I think that has made his work timeless, the reason we still look at it, is that he really takes a, a, an approach, a very analytical approach, I think. He sort of removes emotion from it. And there's a lot of emotion wrapped up in power and what's holding you back and how you're valued in the workplace. But he really recommends sort of removing your emotion from it, looking at the situation very clearly, assessing what your strengths and weaknesses are, and sort of navigating it from there. And as someone who has studied economics at, in my job and, you know, talked to lots of economists, I really value that approach and see the strength in that approach of taking issues that can be very emotional, like the gender pay gap, like women not getting promoted enough or pushed out of fields or sexually harassed and approaching it from a more analytical way and using that way to find solutions. Uh, I found it to be enormously helpful and a very kind of unique uh, angle through which to look at this problem, uh, a problem that I myself tend to get very emotional about. I, I really valued that approach from Machiavelli.